Joel, you know, the restart of those manuals lines here at the Pfizer plant in Rocky Mount is welcome news to businesses and residents. It has been a long 10 weeks since that tornado shut down the operations. Back to business at this Pfizer plant in Rocky Mount for the first time since the July 19th tornado shut down operations. It's a huge sigh of relief. I mean, clearly they employ 3,200 people in our area, represent about 16% utility spend in the city of Rocky Mount. So what's good for Pfizer is good for the city of Rocky Mount. During the shutdown, Pfizer committed to paying its employees in full, which Rocky Mount Mayor Sandy Robertson says prevented the city from suffering an economic loss. People still live in the area. People still are here. Pfizer committed to paying their entire payroll on a continuous basis and have been during this period of time. So I don't think we felt much of a net negative in economic impact. The tornado damaged the plant's large high-rise warehouse and approximately 40,000 pallets of packaging supplies and finished medicines. Today, Pfizer saying the production restart inside this facility has been prioritized based on patient needs and inventory levels. The company adding there are approximately 13 medicines in production on the lines that have restarted. Pfizer also saying while manufacturing has resumed, the impact of the tornado on the site is expected to affect the supply of medicines from the Rocky Mount facility until at least mid-2024. And Pfizer saying today's restart is just the first phase to the reopening as they plan to open the other manufacturing suites, hopefully by the end of this year. Now coming up tonight at 6, we hear from businesses and residents about what this restart means to them. Reporting live in Rocky Mount, I'm Diane Wilson. Back to you.